Hello viewers, hope I find you well. Today I'm going to focus on cognitive development. I talked about social development, I talked about physical development, and today I'm going to talk about cognitive development. What is cognitive development? Cognitive development deals with the mind. Cognitive development deals with the reasoning capacity. Cognitive development deals with how you put your things in order. Now, during the prenatal development, the brain is the first organ to be developed. And after the development of the brain, that's when other body parts are developed. So it means the brain is the engine of the body parts. The brain is the engine to instruct the body parts to perform any duty. Right. Immediately after the baby is born, the brain should instruct again the baby what to do. That's when we see those facial expressions and reflex actions which the baby is supposed to do. As educationists, we only pick those issues which will guide us on how to track the child development. There are a lot of issues pertaining the health sector. I'm not supposed to dwell much on those issues. Those are timber around with the health sector's content. So, we want to follow now the, um, the baby. After that, he first cry, she or he produced. After that, the baby is given to his or her mother. The baby will start sucking. It means the brain has already relayed the information that the baby should suck on her mother's breast. The baby will open eyes and close eyes. The baby will raise fingers and do many other actions. It means the brain is functioning effectively. Now, after the baby now, is somewhere three months old, uh, four months old, six months old, the baby will be rolling. Or the baby will make some actions which are a little bit vigorous. It's because of the brain. If the uh, baby remain flat, not performing any action, it means the baby is down. The brain is down. The brain is not effectively Function. So it means the mother, the caregivers, should support the brain to function effectively. Such that the brain will relay information to the baby to perform some actions. Some babies will just sit on their own without any support at six months old. But some will not be able to do that. It's because of the brain. The brain is relaying information to other body parts. Sometimes forgetting to relay information that the baby should now sit upright. So it's the duty of the brain to send information to the body parts to perform. That's cognitive development. So the mothers and the caregivers should check the developmental milestones of the baby such that they support on some other actions which they think is time for the baby now to perform this action. For example, the baby should stand upright without having a support. Mothers should be there, caregivers should be there to promote the cognitive development of the child. Cognitive development, as I said, deals with the mind. So the environment should be rich for the baby or for the child to perform various actions. When the baby is given a ball, the baby should know what to do with that ball. The baby should not be taught on how to play with the ball. The mind should relay information. And I once told you that uh, there are a lot of uh, play materials which will make or which will socialize the baby. And I said socialization is whereby we exchange activities. So the baby should cope from other people around him or other siblings how they are playing with the ball and then he should or she should put in practice when he's given a ball to play with. So it means the brain is there now to instruct the baby what to do. 
So that's why I'm saying mothers should track the development of the child and supply the child with relevant play materials in order to cultivate the mind, to cultivate the cognitive development. And again, when the child is ready to go and play with others, mostly at two years old, the child should exchange ideas with others, exchange play materials with others, exchange each and every activity which is being done by others to show that he or she is listening. There are some children who are not able to copy from their friends they will be just sitting watching what others are doing. It means that child is dull and that child will face problems when he is in the classroom. The teacher will give tasks to the children to perform and the baby is used to just sit and watch others play, just to sit and just ignore the, what, the play materials. So it will be difficult for the baby now to solve the problems. There are a lot of issues which I have to talk about uh, the cognitive development, but I have tried my level best to pave way to show mothers, fathers, caregivers how we should train the cognitive development and how we should support the cognitive aspect. The cognitive aspect deals with the thinking. Whenever you are socializing with others, it means you have to think. If there is a physical development, whatever activity which we are doing, it means you have to think. So cognitive development is the central uh, engine of the body. Whatever the body is performing is coming from the instructions which are given by the mind. Thank you. Stay tuned.